is that thing actually a historic locomotive that runs on steam? And of course the answer to both questions is yes. It's a piece of history to Knott's Berry Farm in Southern California, but it's also a piece of history to Colorado. The ghost town in Calico Railroad has been chugging its way around the tracks at Knott's Berry Farm for 60 years now. They were built for the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad in 1881. Number 41 here was uh, actually engine number 409 for the Denver and Rio Grande. It's a uh, Baldwin C19, a 280 uh, wheel arrangement, two leading trucks, eight driving wheels, and nothing under the firebox. This entire train set came from a train called the San Juan. Walter Knott originally bought it for the farm to go with his ghost town, all of which was designed to give patrons of Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant something to do. Trains are part of Western history, and it makes sense when you have a ghost town, you gotta have a train. We've got a stagecoach, why not have a train? The crew shows up several hours before the park opens to fire up the engine, which takes a lot of love and care. There's two types of grease points on this engine. There's the Zerk fittings, uh, which grease several different things on the uh, locomotive, and then there's the grease cups, which are these threaded. The crew that runs the train are really into their job of working on the railroad. I get paid to play trains, something I've been doing since I was a little kid. My toys have gotten bigger, and now I get to actually paid for it. I've always loved history since I was a little kid, and right when I started, I, I loved it. Being paid to actually drive a historic piece of equipment. The railroad made its original run at Knott's after a Golden Spike ceremony on January 12, 1952. Got him, money partner. The train has been robbed nearly every time since it started its 60-year run. Hey, how about you, partner? You got any money? Nothing at all? Gold nuggets. Yeah, I got some gold money. Just because your teeth are yellow don't make them gold. Somehow the train robbers always get away. This is Mark Eads working on the railroad for OCRegister.com.